I was gonna start earlier, but I was helping someone, so. But we're here now. Let me just do another ping on the live streams. Hey, C dubs. Looks like everything is getting in working order. I just need to uh, quickly slow this down. Seven. Oh wait, what's quick one? Ah, uh, speak live. He's pinging me. There we go. That's bad. Now it's a little bit slower. I mean, I should do it when you press a button, it tweens it out immediately. But that is definitely in testing. Let me do that. Which I'll do God. Wait, no, it doesn't matter, no man. Yeah, there we go, that's better. And then we got the map. Alright. As usual, we'll be doing a little bit of terraforming. So right now we've got this cave system going. I'm not going to touch this. I need to figure out materials that I need to play with it off stream. So that's just going to consume way too much time. So instead, um, we have, actually, let me, I, I don't want to talk about that bridge. <laughs> Let's insert from file. I have a, um, I have a, where is it? Materials. Pathfinding. I had a pack. Asset pack. Where'd it go? What's this one? Oh yeah. That's something off a... Uh, what's that website called? Row Shop or something? Sup? HRH Creepy map Variety of dummies I actually do want to implement a uh, wind shake and wind controller too. And maybe some top bar buttons. But I'm missing. There's materials. Huge load holy pack. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Oh, yep, yeah, I get this one's the one. 
I'm doing an RPG uh, game. So if we go back to the hacking plan, which is our to-do list, we've pretty much got everything up to this uh, interact collectible system. And then I'm gonna make the game public so you can play the game. Uh, this game's open source, so anyone can play it at the moment. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go from pretty much all of this and then most of the map done, and then I can make it public and people can play it. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of thing I want to go for here. I'm going to use them. What is that? Oh, there's more here. What is that? Um, I might use that. Put that over there. I might use some of them. Some of them. Well, these assets will be available once I publish. Right now, I'm just trying to... That's whatever. Anything interesting here? Oh, these are too high. Holy... Is that a keg? <laughs> What's part? What do you mean by that? What's part? Oh, actually, I can use these for a bridge. Now think about it. Let me put them over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot I didn't have premium. Oh, my God. Oh, Caramel Dancing. Um, I'm going to bring them because they're fantasy. Hmm. Weapons, we do need weapons. I'm gonna bring all of them. Should I do a shield system? Like shield bashing? I think it might make it a little bit too complex. I'll think about it there. Um, Dong. Japanese. Um. Those are my VFX there. I might actually use these for magic. Let me chuck them in there. I need to put these materials inside there. And I'm going to delete all of these. All of these. Water parts, don't need them. Um, do I want clouds? Yes, I do. I want clouds and lily pads. So I want to make sure I grab these lily pads too. Well, actually, those are really nice. So are those. When will I release the game? So pretty much um, on the to-do list, once we get down to the interact collectible system, the game will go public so people can play it, but the game is already open source from the start. So if I run over to the place, at the end of the stream, I put the link in chat so you can actually take a copy if you want it. So here's the place that's uh, uncopy locked, so you can just go up here, edit, and then download it. But if I go to one of these two, there is a version history and you can see the progress we've done so far. So that was 10 days ago, the start of it. And then we're up here now. Well, I should say I'm into a different part now, but... But yeah, so pretty much we're doing attribute dialogue quests next. And I make need to make all the UI and everything for that. Um, I might keep these bamboo sticks now think about it. I can put them along the river edge for the jungle. Um 
Those rocks are really nice. Oh no, these look the best, I would say. I'll, I'll keep on adding this. Oh, hey, yo. What's up? <laughs> it's late. Let me move them over here. Yeah, now that I've got these, I can make a bridge. I'm going to use this one. And as I said in the last stream, I should have just used Archimedes for this, but I was stupid and I did not. Uh, Archimedes. Gonna start refactoring my entire game. <laughs> you know. Give me the yeah! Oh, give me the yeah! Let me get this. Why? Which one is it? Swap sides. X. There we go. The Paxies. Perfect. Oh my god, this is so much better than yesterday's bridge. <laughs> I haven't even like fully finished it yet. Oh my god. Yeah, you should have seen yesterday's bridge that I was trying to make. I was like having a stroke when I was doing it. Give me the yeah. Actually, that's not even like angled enough. No, think about it. Shit. Let me go back. I need to actually come quite a bit back. Um, four. That should be plenty long. Wait, no, that's not even. That's still not aligned. <laughs> yeah, when you use... Yeah, I kind of had that too with scripting, but... Then I started this series and that brought my motivation back, so that's good. Wait, that's not even... Oh my god, no. Give me the... Yeah... I have to make it so that goes across. Maybe it'll be easier if I do it from this side. Yeah, it'll be heaps easier if I do it from this side. Zero orientation on. Yeah, there it is. Now, if I select all of these, start rendering them across. Heaps better. And then I can just paint the extra region. It's all about the salary, it's all about reality, you're making some noise. That's heaps better than before. There we go. 
Um, what shall I put around the side of it? What is this? I could probably put it on the side. No, I want something. Oh, that's what I want. And I need a line on the dragged object. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Oh my god. There we What's four again? Oh yeah, that's no. Definitely three. That's a good line. There we go. Just line that. I can just keep it like that. Oh, yeah, that's so much better than yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes. Usually it should have support, though, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Because that's so much better of a bridge. Can I darken that color? I can't. Can I keep it? No, I like... That's not that bad of a color. Maybe like... There. Do I have any wood textures? Let me have a look. Where is it? Uh. Let me just group them. Materials. I'm looking for wood. Is there any wooden here? Planks, here they are. We add a texture on the top. Four, four. Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe if I do that on the plates. Now I've got to also do it on them. Nah. I'll just leave it like that. Why not? Let's 
That can support most things I want to do. Hey, Camille. You like the bridge? <laughs> it's so much better than yesterday, it's although not fully completed. I'm going to put that on the map. I'm going to do that bridge. I'm going to put that under workspace there. I should put a pot underneath this. And then... Yeah, and then I'll just unpack all of them in there. How many innocences are in here? Print, number of workspace, dot workspace, get children. 1,083. Nice. But now I can just hover over the one I want and grab it. Oh, whoops. I didn't see them. Oh, no, you just, uh... Let me read these over. Alright, there we are. Now I can go. I'll put that. No, I'll keep that separate. Oh, we need to do castle walls too. Um. There it is. Actually, I might use one of these ones. Is there any stone? This one, maybe? It says road, but I want to use it as well. So, for efficiency reasons, you want to use the least amount of textures you can. Which is what I'm going to aim for. Oh, as in, like, unique textures, sorry. So I want to try... No, nah, that, that doesn't look good. I want... So I want to try to use the, the highest number of the same texture I can. Rather than having a bunch of different ones. That's the only one I can use, really. Oh god. Okay. Which one is it? There we go. Oh. Hey Alpha, love the music too. Oh yeah, it's so the reason why is because of loading times. If you reduce the number, actually I should have said loading times rather than performance, but I did say performance. But the more textures you use, the longer it's going to take to load. In order to see a uh, number of assets used. Material service. I'm pretty sure material service only... I don't even look properly into material service. Is that adding your own materials or is that changing the default ones? Ah, I keep just changing default. Material variant. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to find materials for everything then. If I want to change that.
Oh, I know what I want to do for that. A lot of things I've got to just blank textures. Yeah, what I meant was like oh, I only added certain. Oh, where did that say? Replace. I I I thought Material Server was adding your own textures, but it's replacing the default ones with a new one. Yeah. Or is that what you meant by it's just default? Um, yeah, replace, okay. Oh, I do have materials. I could probably find some otherwise, and we just add them, but I'll keep that later. Is it really black? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Yeah, that kind of sucks too. <laughs> Although, I guess virus kits could spam it. That's the only problem. Yeah, they could be abused very easily. Unless they have a... Oh, shit. Unless they have, um default new textures that you can set it to it's like only they can have or Rolox can not Rolox is the only one that can actually upload new textures and then we can just pick out of them adobe's volume did a huge replace yeah yeah they've got adobe has heaps of shit i'll tell you that much I know that much about Dobie, they've got fuck loads of stuff. But I love the ads. How many ads? Was that three in a row? There we go. Yeah, there we are. Actually, I, I was meant to make a spider boss arena, but I never did. I guess I'll, I'll do that thing as a final building thing, and then maybe lay in the stream as a cooldown from scripting, we can add trees and shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that? Oh, it's still brick, okay. How high is this? Oh, that's very thin. Okay, I need to be careful. And this is very thin too. See, I swear that lay is not connected. Yep, Seven Nation Army. Wrong lyrics. No, you're rude. Dude. Song's pretty chill. Oh uh, no, so this den's an open den. So there's no portal or anything, it's all open world here. So either you can come down the waterfall area. So that will be all water later. Or you can go through the maze around here. And find your way in. Or, actually that's a way out too, so you're gonna have to traverse through the maze at some point. But yeah. 
I might do like teleport stones to your teleport runes. Because you know, there is magic. And I did record some gameplay of World Zero and all that, like combat ideas. Although mine's going to be a little bit different of a combat system. World Zero of Asteria and Labyrinth, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah, teleport spells, yeah. Well, I don't really want to have teleport spells. I would rather have runes that are single use. So that way they're more valuable and... Maybe we can have short distance teleport spells. That'd be right. But nothing too crazy. Otherwise, PvP would be broken. Or unless we have a spell that disables nearby teleports. Unless it's a rune. That could be an idea. So you can only use rune to escape. Yeah, regents for spells, yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. And she's Yell still here? I don't know if he is. Yell, you there? <laughs> That'd be a pretty cool idea, though, yeah, having... Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how I want the spell system made, then, because, um... If you can craft pieces of the spell, you're gonna have to combine the pieces. Oh! I just had an idea. So... Craftable... Spells... Spell type slot. So you have the type of spell. Yeah, so yeah, well, this is like... Um, sort of, we're, kind of, we're brainstorming as we're going to, so... Yeah, so for this one, what I want to do is have different types of spells. So like... Oh god, flashbang. So you have your type of spell. And then you can have... um. Bonus attributes for the spell. So like you can have up you can have up to three attributes for the spell. And then you have um order of operation or something. So it's like programmable spells. Um order of operations. Launch projectile when when something hit explode split into smaller projectiles. So then you can design your own AOE, your single attacks, all that sort of stuff. And I think that'd be a really cool magic system. That's gonna make or break your system. Exactly. <laughs> And you won't know till you try, so that's even better. Oh, whoops. It's meant to be boom, 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 boom. It's like lightning. You can have fire. Oh, shit. That's not good fire. Oh, screw it. That works. <laughs> Wait, no. Yellow's on the outside. Not screw it, that works. And an orange on the inside. <laughs> that works for fire. Spell type. So types, projectile, uh, close, AOE, single, attack. Self, Attributes, Flame, Lightning, Water, etc. Are Rodox? No.
Oh my god, this is a cool magic system. I want to script it. Road dogs is great for state management overall keeping things clean and accessible. Okay. Let's have a look. Um. <laughs> Robux? <laughs> Wait, is it a plugin? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, okay. Well, I have my own state machine for it. I knew we do. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't see, yeah. Yeah, Camel, that's what I kind of want to do too, yeah. Oh, okay, it's too long. Project Google. On. <laughs> that says so. Let's uh, scoot around here and check out the. Look at this thing you've got as me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandpa, tell us a little bit what you're doing right now. Huh. I'm going to get my characters to go fight a war. This character was developed in 03. I have one that was made in 99. This character is played for three months, three days, and three hours. Oh, damn. That's my bow character. What's the, the name again? And that's Blackheart. And Moss Zapper is the one that was created in 99. Tough bunch. Damn, he's balling. 
<laughs> hey, Hyper, what's up? <laughs> I have a lot of uh, great friends from England, uh, New York, uh, all, all over the States. It's a great game. Do you have any funny moments or favorite moments you've had with this game? Yeah, well, at the beginning, I have to lie down in order to heal. Uh, the game has come a long way. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun playing. Do you think you'll be able to find a game similar to this one? Did you check out anything else? No, I don't, I, everything now looks like crap compared to this game. <laughs> oh, flamed. <laughs> PvP or PvE, Grandpa? I tried uh, the game Dark with Tide. Dark Tide, but it wasn't my wasn't my my style of game. What, Kaylee? Tell me that. Because I, I didn't like getting killed by friends. <laughs> <laughs> tell us that one story where you lost. Oh, we're just looking on yeah. a I RPG in the nineties. I went on the game. Big mistake. What happened? Well, I lost all my gear. <laughs> <laughs> I came home almost naked. <laughs> it's the most. A, a time that I can call my own. It's a great, great time when I had it. Yep. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always been in leaf call pretty well. Blamed, yeah. I've got. Uh, a total of something like 80 characters, I'm sure. That's what I got in total with all my games. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a big like. That's it. <laughs> You're done. You're sending me away. <laughs> I am. Do you want to blow a kiss to your new <laughs> well, fans? I know. I'm I'm had my fill. <laughs> yeah. This is apparently a remake or something of it. But, like, a lot of the washdown features were removed. How much is it? Oh, it's on Steam! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Yeah, should I get this so we can play it? <laughs> How large is the... Why do you find the file size again? I'll add that to the wish list. Oh, well, I can't. I need it on Steam and do it. Yeah. Let me project all gone. Oh, I can't actually. Project. All gone. Boink. There we go. We keep that there. Wow, oh, thirty people did that. You're not too bad, yeah. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. 81, that's pretty dang good. It also depends on the player. I'll have a look at this, though. For now, I won't be using it, because I have to learn it from scratch, but... Receive new phone number.
I see what you mean by it though. Let's see how it works. Attributes, dialogue, quests. Okay. Oh, actually, I actually need to finish this thing first. Yeah, that, that looks like a really cool game. I might actually get and play in the stream as its own day. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, yeah. I'm gonna I can see that from the thing. I'd have to apply it to one of my other games first before I actually use it as a primary thing for this one. Oh my god. So many floating bits I can't see them. Smooth all that. Is that affecting? Nope. That should be plenty big. Uh, Ashwan Skies went on to make a game local to me. It was a dark age of Camelot. Oh, yeah. What game... What are you working on right now? I'm curious. So, I'm making, like, this little boss, um, area. So, I'm gonna put a boss in here. I'm thinking, like, a spider boss, but I'm not completely sure yet. We'll have to see. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wait, that could just go grass and mud. Never mind. It's not that bad. Uh, let me just paint over this. Full player base economy meets Minecraft building. Oh, okay. Camelot unchanged. Look at this. Still brick in the ground. Might have to go region and clear it. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent for a boss arena, I'd say. This company's on fire. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those systems in Roblox would be really cool. But it'll be tricky to figure out. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad to figure it out. Oh god, is that? Uh oh. It's clipping through the ground. Which is always fun. There we go. And paint over that with mud. Hey, there we go. Whoops. I do. So I am actually going to add another thing here, which is an auction house. I do want to add that. That was another thing I wanted to try out. Auction house. Or I should say... Um... All server wide auction house. One master sifter system. I do want to actually make a system like that because that would be pretty cool.
And then I was think I wasn't completely sure yet, but I actually wanted to handle the player's database in the auction house on my other computer. Um, direct trades, yeah, direct trades, yeah, I could do that too, yeah. Actually, is there a trading? Let me do that. Trade. Direct. Uh, so, uh, same game only. I don't want to do cross server trading. Yeah, if it's less relying on NPC, yeah. And it. And it's not as stale, because if I add in enchantments and attributes to weapons, it's like a, a poisoned weapon. And then you can also have fire effects on it through enchantments, and it will create the auction house. The auction house will be less stale, and some interesting weapons and concepts can come up. Which would be cool for gameplay. Because I love going mass debuff. Um, like... If I can enchant stuff, I'm just going to put all debuff. If there's poison, flame, ice. Unless debuffs are completely broken in the crap. Uh, where are we going? Attributes. Let's make a new GUI. Well, I need the inventory first, don't I? Inventory. That's going to have to come up there. Yeah, okay. That's gonna have to come up there. Actually, I might as well do that now, you know. Mods create more users of collected assets. Yeah, that's too true, yeah. And then you can sell the specific mods also, which make it better. Inventory, GUI, attributes. Should I do attributes or inventory scripting first? I think scripting the inventory. Shouldn't take long. Or is it already done? Oh, it's already done. Okay. Inventory, GUI, in progress. So sort buttons are the only thing. Attributes. Um, what's this menu look like? Let me... I'm gonna hide the hotbar. I'm gonna hide the left HUD. I might change how those buttons look. Sell and or trade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, let me get rid of that, let me get rid of, oh, I didn't stream yesterday, I did stream, I think it was last week, I don't remember though, wait, did I stream yesterday? I think I did, but I was like, off my head, and I only did like, uh, the cutscene thing, you know, yeah, I only did that, that and the UI for it. So you don't really miss much. <laughs> no, I was not. I was trying to make a bridge. <laughs> that wooden bridge. Holy crap. I was trying to use um, gap fill and it just wouldn't work. And then it was just bugging. And it looked... Ass. <laughs> This is the attributes description. Attribute item. But yeah, I, I did want to do an external da database too, but I wasn't completely sure about it. I have like a backup system where I just only save to, and if I need to, I can reverse the operation.
Hey, Hoodcat. Oh, I put the music. Um. Maybe, um. You know, I'm gonna make it so you have to level your attributes rather than you get points. I have skill points. Or should I have attributes that you can put into. Uh, Alpha, I usually do it on weekends. Sometimes, I I sometimes try to on weekdays, but I'm just way too tired after work. Especially at the moment when it's really muggy and hot. And my university doesn't start till like, the 10th of March or something. So, once my university starts, I won't be able to stream much. Maybe. The more you use the system, the better it gets, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then we just have a list of attributes. No viewport. They have to be icons. Let's do level. Let's actually put that on top. 1 out of 10. Or should I have like a... Roman numerals? I think Roman numerals would be cool. And that's XP. Sound, sound. That one's Roman numerals. Then the XP. Can go in that corner. Don't level character, level systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Template attribute. And lucky for us, I have icons. Dun, 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 dun. Let me just find them. I think I put them in this. No, I didn't. Where did I put them? Is in store projects, MMORPG, resources. Yes, they are. Actually, let me make a shortcut so I'm not wasting room. RPG series, paste shortcut. Okay, there we are. So now we have lots and lots of resources I can use. The sounds. There was models, but they're in a separate one. That's for a separate game, though. Say... No, I'm not going to say that. Actually, I should... I do want to stream on Twitch for one day, because there is um community benefits I can get. For the Twitch version, but I need more people in there. I don't know if YouTube has any though. Does that work? I don't know. That feels weird. Maybe I should put that in there. Yeah, I'm going to put it in here. Um, experience. And I can put that in the middle. And then I can increase the size to like 0.7. So that way any larger numbers, it can fit in there. Your Twitch info in here on somewhere. Um... I don't know if it is. Is it my YouTube about? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, here, let me... That's the Twitch there. Let me just edit the description. Uh, 
Um, Twitch. RVX spook underscore exe. I'll put in the description there. Because my Twitch also has my YouTube on it, so. Yeah, YouTube channel, yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's the Twitch channel. Alright, let me continue with this. So I want to do the attributes on a unlock base. Um, unlock base. What's the word I'm looking for? Basis. Unlock base basis. So you get to unlock the attribute before you can actually see what it is. So wait, there's a little bit of mystery in the game. And I think that'd be pretty cool. And then... Template. I do need the button still, actually. Wait, is there a button in this one? Oh, there isn't. Oh, buttons get created. We got Template attribute. Attribute. So I'm going to set that to visible false. Then we go core interface frame toggle. Uh, that's all automated, I believe. Um, this character. Oh, my God. oh, Slim Shady, fuck yeah. Attention, please. Pay attention, please. Okay, please stand up. That's inventory character. Maybe I'll put in the character menu. No. Trade start, I'll put that in the extra menu. Yeah, I'll put that on the extra menu. And then this can be... Uh, that can go there, that can come up, that can be attributes, and that can go index 4. That goes index 2nd. And then... Attribute icon. Oh, is that Um, can I use that one? Let's see if that works. Let's go four on that one. There we go. Uh, what's in this left hold? Oh, it's just saying making. Please stand up. <laughs> Let's play the game and test the menu real quick. Please stand up. Please stand up. Yeah, this way also the player's data will get bigger the longer they play. And not everyone's data is really big at the start. So that's also nice. I should also, I should also add string compression. I know if Roblox does that automatically though.
Mm -hmm. Oh, did I just... Well, I thought I duplicated that. Right, hold on. Let me go back to... No, I need to. Let's see you go version history real quick. And go to the one yesterday. Oh, earlier. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I want the one on that one. This is why version history is nice. Then all I have to do is just copy the inventory frame and that's it. There we go. So inventory works, as you can see, equip weapon. If I go attribute, that works. Well, not yet, but you know, you know what I mean. And there, uh, we had to do the rest. Attributes. Uh, let me go. Definitions. Attributes. Module. Module. Function. Module. Get attribute from ID. Attribute ID. Ah, uh, this is an RPG. I see. Attributes. How do I do settings? Yeah, okay. I want to keep them like this. Module to attributes. So then we've got um, ID equals strength. Um, so we've got strength, the Max level. We have 25. We'll get EXP for level equals function level. I'll just make it linear so every level requires 25 XP more. So what that looks like is. I have XL here. I'll just do one, two, three, four, five. So that's a level. Level experience. So that equals A2 times 25. There we go. So that's linear. So that's going 25, 50, 75, 100. It's 25 every time the level increases. So 
So we've got ID level. I need an icon. I'll add that. Hey, analog. Yep, that works. So we've got ID icon. Oh, we're going to have to change this around to... Update inventory. UID item counter. Don't need the item counter. Get attribute config. ID, ID. Set up attribute frame. So there's no quantity, but there is a level. Max level. Attribute unique ID. So that also means we need to make a new uh, attribute service. So create attribute. Data. <laughs> Requirement passwords, yeah. Level equals one. attribute ID get attribute from get attribute by UUID the attribute inventory or attribute data give player attribute Attribute ID. Attribute config. Attributes. Get attribute from ID. No attribute config for that. Like players receiving attribute dot dot dot. Oh wait. At oh, waste time. So for for each of them in the profile dot data dot attributes. If it's equal to the attribute ID, return true. Actually, I just put return. And then table to insert. Uh, attribute ID, attributes. There we are. Give player attribute. So that's going to give them the actual attribute and we'll have a separate function to give them uh, XP for that attribute. So we don't have anything like that. So we don't need that remote. Uh, we should really have a reconcile data. I can add reconcile later. So reconcile just means adding missing values. Um... Add reconcile data or item inventory items attributes etc thing yeah comparison check yeah
I should already have meta Donna too, but I won't worry about that. Won't be too bad. Yeah, so pretty much, let's say I add like, um... Like, I forget to add experience and I need to add it. If I already have save data with level only, when I reconcile check, it will add the experience that's missing. For me. So that's kind of what I'm after. Yeah, so you got that, and then we want function module reward attribute XP local player attribute ID experience. So then we do that. So if they don't have it already, it will give it to them, and then we'll do um. Local attribute data. Actually, I'm going to need the profile now. Profile. Dot data dot attribute. The unique ID, which is not there. Does that one return? That's what I can do. Local new data. Equals create it, add it to the inventory, and return it. Give player attribute. So give player the attribute. Local player attribute data. So now I don't need profile anymore. And then attribute data dot get wait no attribute data dot experience where's that one dot experience plus equals experience so now we're gonna add the experience hey. <laughs> and then we wanna do module check attributes for leveling local player then we'll make another function for that function module local player yes we're doing heaps of loot local attribute config config equals get attribute from ID the attribute data dot ID and while we're at it we need to get that one profile dot data dot attribute so look through all the attributes get the config if not config continue so ignore this one just continue on Actually, well, let's warn it. Warn. No attribute config found for ID. Attribute data dot ID. And then we can do if attribute config dot get XP for level. Attribute data dot level. So if the attribute data dot experience is larger or equal to that level. Then now we need to change this to while loop while the amount of xp is larger than required to and since we need to uh, check this again we can actually change this to a variable like a required experience equals that so while it's larger do 
minus equals the required experience. Add the level by one. And then update this. So then it will go back to the top and check the new amount required. And if there's still more experience, it'll level up again, update it, level up again, etc. And that can't crash either, so that's good. And there we go. Now. Um, print uh, local player dot name dot dot. Attribute dot dot the attribute data dot id dot dot has leveled up to dot dot attribute dot leveled dot dot exclamation mark the player's attribute has leveled up let's actually do string dot format so we got percent we got percent s for a string comma s so players Attribute percent s, so the attribute name there has leveled up to percent s exclamation mark. Oh, caps lock on. So we're going to replace that with the player's name, replace that with the uh, attribute ID, replace that with the attribute level. And then that becomes. Other way is up to you, but. Do string that I could put it as percent D for a number, but there we go. That's another way of doing it. But I like this old fashioned way. I'm gonna keep that. Oh wait. There we go. All right. And then also that should be at the bottom of it. I like to have it so if these require any functions, I want to make sure this function itself is below them. So that way I know this one's at the top, so it's there. This one's above this one, so it's there. And I like to keep it ordered. But there we go. And then, oh, actually we also need to do and attribute dot level plus one is smaller than or smaller and smaller or equal to than attribute config dot max level. So we need to make sure it stays within the level bounds. It's smaller or equal to, yeah. So that way it can go to twenty five. So in this case, it can go to 25, but it cannot go to 26 and above. And then for this one, we'll just do for IV in or IV for I data in I pairs module dot attributes do if data dot ID is a good attribute ID, then return data I return nil. No. There we go. And then let's say, um, actually I'm going to add a couple more here. So we've got strength, we've got agility, strength, agility, dexterity. So let's actually add descriptions here too. Strength is increased damage agility is increased speed and stamina Actually, increased run speed max stamina and stamina recovery increased damage yeah increased damage and defense oh damage and defense sticks oh no increased damage increased health and defense dexterity is that the right one dexterity definition 
Skin performing tasks with the hands. Yeah, okay. Wait. Mental skill or quickness. Okay. Oh, wait, no, not dexterity. It's vitality I was thinking of. Vitality is that one. Increased health and defense. Yeah. Vitality and dexterity is increased critical chance. Um, dodge chance and accuracy. Yeah. Get bonus equals function level return level times five. So five damage per level. This one is return so that's increased damage so level times five St max stamina let's do plus 15 stamina recovery level times 0 0.25 so that returns run speed max stamina stamina recovery Bonus damage, damage, bonus, bonus damage. Uh, this one returns health and defense. Health, defense. So health will do, let's do 25 a level. Defense is 15 per level. Actually, I do like. I have to do exponential for that. Math dot. How. Level 15. 1.25. Maybe. Let me see what that looks like in Excel. I think I did that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. N equals A2 times 15, which then we power to the 1.25. Yeah, that's what I want, yeah. And then I also want to floor, oh. floor that. Keep the decimals down. And maybe... Um... Actually, I can do it to the fifth. There we go. Does that have it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Is there? No, oh, okay. Well, I kind of just did this because it's easier. Um. Oh, wait. I know what to do. I do five times that divided by five. Clamp. Clamp. Two. Uh. Divisible by five. And I don't need to bother with that till afterwards. Five times math dot power blah divide by five. I do want that first though. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Increase creative chance. Dodge accuracy. I don't need that one anymore. Wait, no, I divide by five first. What am I doing? So math dot power that, divide by five, and then I times it by five and floor that. Or do I do divisible five? No, I want to floor that one and then five times the floor of that. Equals A1 times 15 power 1.25 and that equals B1 divide by 5 so you floor that and then 5 times that yeah there we go so everything's divisible by 5 Or should I seal it? I might seal it rather than floor it. See sealing math. Yeah, there we go. Sealing math. Math dot seal. So then health, oh no, I want um, critical chance, dodge chance, accuracy. Let's do like 10 for that. So every level gives two and a half chance. Dodge chance. Uh, I do this. I do a little bit less. That one. One point two five. And then accuracy is the same, I guess. One point five again. I'll just put them there for the moment. But now what I need to do is go to data service. When the player is joined, do systems container dot attribute service. And I want to give the player that attribute. So that is Let me actually do local starter attributes, strength, agility, vitality, um, and dexterity. Or underscore string and ipairs do give them that string. There we go. So now if I save and play. Let's have a look. Index no value. Create attribute data, not item stack. Mm -hmm. There we go.
And then if I click play, I shall need to make sure that's hidden too. Done. And then that opens. And now we just need this. So if we actually have a look in here, we've got our attributes up here. Experience, ID, level, unique ID. I am thinking we probably don't actually need the unique ID. Since you can only have one of each attribute anyways. So I'll just get rid of that. Yeah, that, that was saved a little bit of data too. Yeah, state machines are really nice, yeah. If I jump over to attributes, I'm just going to get rid of the unique ID. And since my data doesn't actually save, I don't need to worry about it. Attempt to call it a nil value. I'll go do that. Where is it? Interface attributes. Wait, that's inventory. I want attributes. Update attributes. Um for attributes attributes frame attributes frame I don't want an equip function I don't want settings I want attributes I do I need a HTTP service nope <laughs> Don't need that. Get attribute from ID. Get. Don't need any of them. Oh, I need to change this actually. I need to go back to. Uh, so I need to have it in the same format as this. So I'm going to grab that. Go to display. Description. Increase damage. Icon. Image. Image. Equals that. Oh my god, please go away at <laughs> there we go. Oh, Godzilla. What about Echo Harlot? Feel like Godzilla. Alright, there we go. Actually, I'm going to put our uh, display at the bottom. That won't change much. Move that one at the bottom of here. Get the description. ID, ID. Increase that one. Layer. Done. And then also we need to change So actually I don't need any of that I don't need that Oh no yeah I do
Let me just sort these ones out. I need Roman numerals for that, but I'll just keep it like that for the moment. Wait, there's no attributes for him? I've got to change it. Raise your hand. Vacation plan. Dot attributes. Find first child, the ID. ID. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that one in there. Let me jump over to the attributes here. Make sure the transparency is... Actually, I'm going to keep it one and make it zero if there's an image. I think I like that idea. Dot image transparency equals zero. How do I handle player inputs using your OOP style? So do you mean like how, let's say I equip an item? Or do you mean like if I'm using magic and I need to handle user input and keep updating it? Attributes frame. Template attributes. Attribute. So, like, if you mean remote-wise, like, uh, let's say I want to equip something in the inventory, I have a module here with a remote event that handles it. And then I have all the functions here accessible, so, like, I can get item from an inventory, which is used there. And that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, okay, okay. So, I would well i have to play around with it but i would probably have a user input um s like server module and then the client will only respond to that user input module and then all other systems will look at that user input module that require user input for a specific player and then when a combination is pressed it'll tell the user input module to get constant updates for like the mouse or whatever from the player then it will just be fed through I I have to like design the whole system and show you, but yeah, okay, I can probably make a flow diagram of it. Frame dot level label. Um, clone, layout, icon, button, set selected, attribute, yep. Looking good. Looking good. Now it is level label, right? No, it's just level. Level. Clear any other frames that got removed. Yep. Alright, let's try that. There we go. And yeah, we, we've got all, all our stuff being received there. Skip that. I'm going to do the interface also next. Like a monster. There we go. Okay, so that's not parenting them. Oh, it's freezing now, lovely. How'd you make the camera animation? Okay, uh, once this unfreezes. Um, let me just quickly fix this other script here, and I'll show you the... Actually, I can just show you the cutscene one now. 
So pretty much, I set the camera type to scriptable and lock it to scriptable. I clear all, you know, the start GUI, core GUI enables, whatever. And then I have a loop here, which goes between each camera uh, part inside these models here. And it just tweens it around. And then when it reaches the second last one, I think. No, it, when it finishes the last one, so there's a minus 0.3 seconds there. It'll uh, tween out labels and tween in the background. And then it'll go up here, set it the new start, and continue on, you know. You can see how the logic works there. And then that's just uh, cleaning up. Eagle function. Let me do that there. And then I can forcibly set that to false. Um I'm pretty sure on YouTube the old the stream from yesterday is on there if you do want to watch that and see how I did it. Set up frame. Let's have a look, shall we? We've got ID is strength. Okay. No attribute config found for ID. Make sure that's the same. Let me just print them, I guess. So they should definitely be there. Oh! I meant ID. ID cache. That's probably why they're being removed. Save that. We go play that. Now, if I go there, we go increase damage, increase stamina, increase health. Hey, so now I need the XP down here, and I need to change that name then, and I need to change the little name on these labels. So, if I go attributes. Uh, frame. Now I want data. So, attributes frame dot info dot zero. What's inside the attributes info title? Okay. So I only have a title label. Title equals strength. There we go. I could probably no, I'll have it as, as agility vitality dexterity. So that's them ones fixed, and then I need to go back to this one, and I need to do attributes frame dot info dot experience dot label dot text equals the selected data dot oh, selected data dot experience dot dot out of dot dot 
the selected config dot get xp from level the selected data dot level i believe get xp for level yeah okay get xp for level passing the current level uh actually we need to change this it's gonna be if selected data dot level is equal to the selected config dot max level then that text equals max dot uh max level actually yeah let me do percent s percent s 25, 25. Actually, I just... 50 out of 50, I guess that works. Should I have max and big bold, or should I just have the 25 out of 25? Well, oh, no, that's experience out of... Oh, yeah, I need to do max, then. I'll do max for that. Else... Also, let me math dog four then, just in case. There we go. Save that. Oh, we got the waterfall sound effect. play uh let's go stats strength agility if i yep strength zero of 25 i'll put experience there or something and i'll worry about like actual benefits later like how much they actually give you Here I can do experience dot dot. And then, yeah, I think that's it for the moment, actually. I think that's the only thing I wanted. Sweet, those attributes put in. Let's put it in testing. That one, yeah, that's fine there, actually. So now we need dialogue and quests. Dialogue? I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do dialogue, I'm going to be honest. I was going to have, like, components. So you can have, like, a prompt, yes, no, a uh, multi-select, uh, single-select, that sort of thing. Actually, no, probably single-select. But... Yeah. As little as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll have to see that. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, actually, I do want the dialogue to be quick loading. Because I don't want to wait either. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, so how about we actually just do like a module here. Let's do dialogue. Like a module. Module. Function module get dialogue from ID dialogue ID module dot dialogues for I dialogue data in IPES module dot dialogues do if dialogue data dot ID is the dialogue ID then return dialog data i return nil nil
Let me just do that, I guess, for the moment. And I just return true for that. So I can have requirements for dialogues. And then I can actually go on the server and check their dialogue. Mm. No, you know what? I've got a better idea. I'll put that in the actual quest requirements, rather. Alright. I'm just going to quickly go to toilet, and then I'll be back. In women, fight at five foot eleven and six foot. We all wish we had a little extra. So if you're 18 to 29, why not add a little extra on your savings? Get a 2.5% per annum rate for spending and saving with Best Cash. Search West Cash Savings Bonus. Eligibility criteria and terms and conditions vary. I'm Jason Kavanaugh host of the Spotify original podcast, Son of a Hitman. This season, I've been investigating the murders, crimes, and conspiracies involving Charles Harrelson, the father of Jordan, Brett, and famous actor, Woody Harrelson. I knew this investigation would be tough, but I didn't expect just how dangerous Charles Harrelson's secret would be. Son of a Hitman is a Spotify original podcast, and you can listen to the series for free right, I'm back. right here on Spotify. Alright, let's see. So, dialogue. How do I want this? Hmm. I'm thinking... I know it's going to be straight tables. Uh. How don't we do... Type equals... Uh. Multi-option. Options. Let's do bomb, bomb, bomb. Hmm. Multi options. So you got option one, option two, option three. We want the. Oh, display. Rolling. Text equals form. Text color three equals color three dot new one one one. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's in the two thousands playlist, and there's a lot of Eminem. I'm dirty. So I just do that. Display and then next dialogue equals another one. I call multi option. I call actually let's do local dialogue create. Oh, creator function data creator multi option dot 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 like options equals return type equals multi option 
options equal to options. So that simplifies to that. And then we've got that actually needs its own display. So we've got type display options equals display options, then all the options. We've got um, true false display options, true data, false data. So we've got true. Actually, that would be a multi option. Options. No, I want a multi option with. So, yeah, so display options, so that's what's being displayed. We've got true or false. So display true. Oh wait, not true, false. Yes, no. Options. So that's a yes. That's Leather options. Wait, is that in? Oh, wait, no, no, it's per. So it's like the land. Is that in line? One, two, closed. That's why. Yes, no. Option equals true data. Yeah. And then that's false data. Oh, yes data, no data. So options basically either can lead to new dialogue or it leads to a string which runs some action or a function that runs some action. So like that. I could use like a, I don't know, behavior tree, or not behavior tree, a, probably a dialogue tree even. But. So now what I can do is uh, multi-select. Actually, let me do test yes, no. Dialogue equals yes, no. So this is, um... Let me actually make some notes here. Display options equals... Text equals form. Text color three equals color three. But new. Option table equals type display options options. So it's a table or a string or a function. There we go. Options is that bruh. <laughs> One of my friends is next door. He wants me to go say hi. Bruh. Well, we had three hours. Well, if I take a break for 10 minutes and come back, you alright with that? Or do you want me to finish this first? <laughs> yes, no option. Uh, display options. Display. Oops. 
Oh, I have no clue. <laughs> it's there for some reason. Choose one you must. I mean, I'll, I do want to go say hi. I haven't seen him since like school finished, which was 2020. So. <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> oh. Display. Yeah, display. Yeah. I mean, we're already halfway through and I'm... Oh, no. We're a third way through and I'm chilling, so... No, I'll just go say hi quick, quickly. Hopefully you don't get ads with the music, but...
The summer smash hits playlist has soundtracked your summer with these hot hits. Get your summer fix. The summer smash hits playlist.
the beat when homie sent Superman draw. I only phone lips, never sang the part. He had a, a true neighborhood actor, had his back the case. Now we see through him like x rays, cuffed in that Avatar. No matter his loss, we had him with walks. Knowing not to cross those reservoir dogs. You all plan seeds just to be a vegetable? And we invest in shameless to the death for show. No X and O's, text calicos.
All right, baby girls, I'm back. <laughs> I'm Ogus. All right. I'm Ogus. That is hot today. Mm. And PS1, Daddy. Hey, what's up? I got the song name. Speaking of Daddy. All right, yes, no option. Let's just play for it. So I'm gonna say, choose one you must from Yoda. The way Yoda talks. Uh, yes option. I do want display in that. I know that's. So that's lunch sorted. Gordon's London. Oh, there's an ad. Hit the ground Yo. from the day you start studying online with QUT. How shall I do this? Why do you want to call me, Yale? I know you're just going to say the N-word and run off. <laughs> no. Yes option, no option. So here we've got display dot display text display options. Okay, so that should be <coughs> that should actually be out here. Text color three equals color three dot from RGB. Uh, yes option, I want. So that's going to be a table or something. What if I run this again? Am I able to do that? Yeah, I should be able to. So create yes or no options. One must be that. This one can be... Yeah. Multi option, type display options option. So choose one or a spinky. Let's go red. So that means that's a new table, that's a new table. That comes up. They're inviting me in the pool. I'm like, nope, I got a stream. <laughs> oh, you message me. Uh, my friend. Uh, can I do UI? I'm cracked at UI. Uh, no. <laughs> do that, do that. Okay, so that's more options and options. The Discord... The, the Discord... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's on the Twitch. It should be on the Twitch. Yeah, it's on the Twitch. If you scroll down, it's this one here. Spook Games.
But if I do like a... A, um... Delay option. Or delay action. Delayed action. So I do... Display options. Delay action. So then I can do... There's one where I spank you. That will be the delay action. I just need to remember the formatting of this. It's a lot more harder than it looks. <laughs> the spank. The action. It's function. Print. You got spanked. Okay, there we are. So that's the first one. And then the other one is... Run. You run for your life. <laughs> and I get rid of that. So that's choose the options there. Choose one you must. So it's either that or it's this one. Um... Wait, is that right? Yes or no? So that's yes. So actually, um... I want to put that one first. You chose... the correct one. Hooray! You survived. That's how you spell hooray, right? Or hooray? 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 <laughs> Help! <laughs> hooray? Oh, hooray? 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 Hooray. I'll just leave that. And then we have extra properties. Like, choose one you must. Actually, no, I wouldn't worry about that. Oh shit, one of them's out of... Oh no. So that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine. That one leads to that one. It's just that. That's how you make a dialogue, boys. <laughs> oh god, I should really make a plug or something for this.
All right, let's see. Um, actually, if I run that, that should work, hopefully. Plus no error. Oh god, I'm getting really big delays again. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Print module.dialogs. Let me just see if it, like, fully constructed everything. So we should have type. Type equals multi option. Yep, and then options. That doesn't have a type. Oh my god. This is why I hate dialogue sometimes. <laughs> Options equals that. So that is a multi option. Wait, no, that is right, isn't it? Wait, hold on, let me. I got the white. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, what is that? Replace with air, replace all. Employee steam. Um. So. Actually, can I put that in JSON? Let me put all equal to a colon. There we go. So now we can have a look at each layer. So dialogue. So it's a yep, that's correct. We have a multi option. Options display. Display is what will be displayed on the screen. Options will be each individual option. Can I close all folds? Come on, come. Mm -hmm. View. Uncollapse. Unfold all. There we go. Now we're gonna have a look at it. so dialogue there's options each option has the display text and what that option does so that will actually load like this one did and that's a delay action so that's a function and then if they said no that leads to a multi option with an options table which has these two options, which is a delay agent. Let's go! First try. Alright. Now we just need the script for it. <laughs> ah, here we go. Ooh, oh, uh. Ooh, ooh, oh, uh. Oh. Actually, sure, let me quickly create a. Folder, dialog, NPCs. Uh, test dialog. Let's have a string value. Uh, uh, dialog ID. This one is the test multiple dialog. Let's create a script. Oh, we need to create the dialog UI too. Hey, Daxco. Uh, you missed it, but here, let me quickly play the game for Daxco. So, we worked on the map a tiny bit. Um, 
I added attributes, which you missed out on, and right now I'm working on a dialogue system. If we have a look, I need to fix that issue there, but if we have a look in here, we've got the strength, agility, vitality, dexterity. They're going to be increased by actually using related um, uh, methods of gaining it. So strength would be like swinging a sword, agility would be sprinting, vitality is getting hit. Dexterity would be, uh, I guess, dodging and hitting stuff. Yeah, I got... So I put an attribute system in, but you have to earn the attribute XP rather than having points that you put in. And the magic system is going to be a like sort of crafted base system, and there might be like default spells you can unlock. The in inventory works there, and yeah, we're just doing the dialogue now. Yeah, so attributes there, and then you know the dialogue. Um. Oh boy, what do I want to use for dialogue? Dialogue. Um. Oh, actually, let me keep that. Let me keep that. That's going to be options. That's going to be the info. So I don't need rarity, I don't need description, I don't need the line, I don't need that. Oh, sweet. Let's have a look. We want that one in the middle there. So that's description, and that's the choices. So, dialogue uh, text. So, sorry, that's the dialogue text. Let's see NPC name. Actually, I might have them in a joint one. Description, title, choices, I might, uh, I do like two and a half. Actually, no, I'm going to have to go much, much, much more square. Shut up, Mechas. <laughs> Let's get a template attribute, I think. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I uh, get rid of the icon. I do want two of them. I do want that to be like three. Which I might need that to be like. Eight. And then. Dialogue text. Dialogue choice. 
I do want Flip Descendants. Don't you love abusing them? <laughs> Aspect ratio is you get what you want. Maybe I'll center that too. Yeah, there we go. Let me. I need to really thin out those strokes. And these choices. Where are ones? There we go. Perfect. Okay, now for the script. We don't need any of that. We don't need replicate core. We don't need replicated data. We do need the dialogue module. Dialogue. Dialogue frame. All right. Um, let's see. Let's do a function module load or oh. Yeah, I'll do load dialog dialog ID equals form get dialog from ID Dialog ID. If not, dialog return. Um, dialog data. Let's do local dialog tree history. So I want to do that equals a blank. Local active dialog equals nil. Active dialog. Equals dialog data. Go. So load dialog. And then I could do it in spawn, but I probably won't do that. Also, this one. Oh, actually, is it in here maybe? No, it wouldn't be. It'd be in there. Uh, I just can say what. Um, is there more bots? I don't see the bots. Where are the bots? Oh my god. Oh, give me a second. Can I block them? Oh, here we go. YouTube's useless with moderation ability. It's so annoying. And it looks like I've got them blocked on. Can I go back and... No. Oh. 
free streamer how do i unblock Please tell me I can unblock. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can't filter them automatically using this. Oh, that's a rip. At least I'll show up now and I can quickly mute them. Or I can try and mute them. Um, actually, I need to have two functions. Start dialogue. Dialogue table. And load dialogue. Dialogue ID. Then I start dialogue table dot dialogue. And then I can actually call I won't do that because it's recursive, but I'll crash it. Now I can actually start the dialogue table. So we have look. Wait, did I call it? Oh I didn't call it on the start. I'm just going to see what this cutscene there. Oh. oh my god, here we go. There we go. Um, yeah, so I don't actually run it on startup. But what I'll do instead is, let me quickly parent this to server storage. Just reduce the amount that's going to load. Let's have a, under core, we want uh, a gameplay folder. I want, uh... Uh, module here called um, Dialog NPCs. Module, module. Yeah, it's also on Twitch, yeah. I'll put it in the description now. Module Inits. Other systems. Okay, systems. Container. Other systems. Oh my god, John Cena. <laughs> Four underscore NPC model. Underscore model in iPads. Workspace, quick for child, dialogue NPCs, get children do. If model is a model and model dot primary part then. Oh, and model find first child a humanoid a class like called dialogue ID value equals model find first child dialogue ID if not that then continue sisters container dot does this one still have parent systems I don't know no, it doesn't. Okay. System container dot dialogue. Oh, wait, no, not that one yet. I want a new click detector. New click detector dot max activation radius would you like 20. New click detector dot mouse click connect function. Then we want to do start di Oh, no. Load dialog the dialog id value dot value bruh 
that dot parent equals a model. Let me just do uh, start dialog. Okay, calm down. I'll just make sure it's load dialog. Yep, load dialog. Close that one. And we're pretty much just gonna do all of this shit. So we have first a what now? A yes no option. Okay. It's a yes no option. Multi option. So if not, but if dialog table dot type is equal to multi option, then I'll see if dialog dot type is equal to. Um, delay action. And even before that, we're going to do if type of. So that's an options table. If type of options table is a table, then else. Then only if it's a table, we put this inside there. Else. If type of options table is equal to a function, then I will just call that. Else if type of options table is equal to string, then uh, if it's a string, then Function module handle string action string action string options table else print invalid dialog type. Uh, options table to type. I mean, the. I should have. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, when do we work together again? I totally forgot. Oh, let's clear that. So if it's a multi option, print option. Oh, let's print. Let's print that for a moment. Let's uh, try that. Actually, I'm going to run this on runtime. There we go. Also, while we're at it, I want to disable the cutscene. Enable that, because why not? Oh, we need to do function module hide dialog. So you want dialog frame dot visible equals false. Dot visible is true. A MOBA for a month. Wait, what'd you do in the game, though? I don't remember you doing much. No, yeah, I still have the, the original files. Wasn't I the only one that worked on that game? I thought you didn't do anything. Really? Oh, no, I went back over it and made a... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I made a stable version after... I went over your code. <laughs> It's all or after our first source coding on the fly. You can tell his OCD will bring him back to clean up if he dislikes the code. Yeah. I mean, this is... I'm fine with the code at the moment. It's not too bad.
<laughs> RCD will prevail. Oh, actually, I need to... I do need that there. Because then, I do dialog frame dot visible equals false. So if it's a table, there's more dialog. Otherwise, it's an action or something of that sort. So you disable the frame. And, um... I won't... Actually, I'll put that one out there. Um, handle string action print action string. I'm going to hit these ads. Oh my god, gaming him so. <laughs> Gaming <him> so. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at what we've got. Oh, my character's not even loading that quick. God damn. He's doing like a space game or something. Halfway with the stream. Let's go. Oh, there's no dialogue print. What and gun stuff. Oh, no, it froze. Well, that couldn't be your own, is it? Yeah, that should work. Oh, it froze again. Oh my god. <laughs> it's doing it again! Oh, let me just restart studio. Oh, yeah, well, there's all the icons still. <laughs> uh, dialogue's in progress. That one's... Testing. Yeah. Oh, is it? What's the difference like? Is it just quality wise or? <laughs> Studio's not closing, why? There we go. Holy, that took forever. Oh, okay. No, Chavo, if I do that, it won't save. I had to wait for it. Yeah, screenshot and send it.
What is this? Want you back, Shadowhead. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's try that. Wait, is that? Yeah, okay. I did save. There's no print whatsoever. Module load dialogue. Print try load. What? In it, yes. Script get descendants. There's no print. What? <laughs> yeah, Project Gorgon. Oh, that's why it wasn't working. There's no print! Oh my god, I just realized. Oh, I forgot. I need to disable this script because the cutscene was the one that required all the modules. Oh. Now it's going to start printing everything. Line 32, print options table, start dialogue, dialogue data, dot dialogue? Um... Dialogue tree. So let me just get rid of that real quick. So try load, it's going to be no. Why is it not printing anything? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Crap it till it's finished. Oh, did I return the wrong thing? Uh, definitions, dialogue. Oh, I returned the wrong thing. Whoops. There we go. Now I can delete that print. Went a little bit too quick. There we go. So type is multi-choice. Hey. So now we just need to load it up. So I had a utility here, right? Separate properties, yeah. Um so for the moment. Out here we can do uh, local modules dot g 
GUI utility set properties, which is the dialog frame dot info options table dot display. Yep, so that's displayed on. So now we want options. Delay action, options table. So here we'll do for I option data and IPES options table do. I need a maid utility. I'm going to grab that in a minute. Choices, let me drag that one out here. Let's delete them too. Local, just let me get a maid now. Uh, local active dialog maid equals verified modules dot maid dot new. Let's clean up. At the start, and then I'll give the frame so like would new uh, option frame equals uh, local assets dot UI dot template dialog choice clone. I'm gonna give that so that can destroy instances. So option frame dot name equals uh choice dot dot i option frame dot layout order equals i option frame dot I need a local uh uh what do you call it uh activate button equals local module gi utility New action button. It was options frame. Uh, activate button. I want to run the start dialog. On the option data dot options. And then I want Oh, I need to do title. I also need to Actually, I can just do a uh, dot title. What do I want to do? Oh, that hanger looks pretty cool.
dialog frame dot choices let me just get past this i think that should be everything now apart from I don't need that because that's inside the option frame, which will get destroyed. Let me try this. Point I, Joe. <laughs> Let's go. Has <laughs> it? <laughs> no wonder why it's playing then. Oh my god, this really likes to take its time loading. Let me check something on Task Manager. I need to get a network card, speed it up a little bit. Uh, anyhow, my, my current motherboard should be able to support that much. I guess it's just my internet. Let's see, so inside the dialog, there's no choices there, so that's the problem. Oh my. <sighs> Where'd you go? <laughs> there we go. What script are you pulling dialog from? Okay, so this one's the actual dialog script. Then here in replicated modules, there's a dialog module, which is this one. And then this is all the dialog here. No worries. Alright, let's see. So, start dialog, yes. Option frame dot parent equals the choices. We've got two hours and 30 minutes left. Woo. Streaming for a bit. Actually, I might just go to dinner then, to be honest. What do you mean? I can easily go to the distance. <laughs> Is my character seriously not loading? The hell? Oh. Uh, well, I'd love to go to the distance, but I might not be able to if this keeps doing this.
I might have to restart my computer and come back in. Oh, there we go. Oh, options table dot options. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Why well, it's just checking the queue. Just on your off. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Got it. So I just gotta change the proxy so it works properly. And yeah. Bruh. Wait, because I got high? Is this the song? Oh my god, it is. La 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 la. <laughs> Hi. I got high because I got high. Yeah, I got high because I got high. Bro, is that the new customer mode for screen GUI? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we should turn that up. That's a big round. Because I got high. Because I got high. Thirty-eight. Wait, am I doing the wrong way around? Parent properties. Parent properties. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Let's get that a try. Because I got high, because I got high. La la la. Oh, okay, I see you. Uh... No. <laughs> 
I think I'm in the wrong spot. Let me check. Yes, no. Yes, no. Display options. Um, if it's a table. Holy shit, things just got serious with the music. What the fuck? <laughs> One. Yes, no. Okay. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Choose one you must. Yes. No, I'm a brute. I see what's happening now. Oh, it was freezing. Yeah, here we go. Line 45. Let's get rid of that print. Oh, that's multi option. So, right here, I want to do if type of options table to display is equal to table, then only then set the properties. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, if options table is a. If it's a multi option. Oh, I did it again. Wait, no. Yeah, no, that's fine. If it's a delay... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see now. Because delay action doesn't actually have a display. Twitch compression is fucked. Oh, okay, HDR. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me show it. So that's Twitch. And I'm assuming this is YouTube? Or something? Is that not going to load? Oh, please tell me. There we go. Oh yeah, the colors are... That's not too bad. I am streaming at 1080p, 60fps, so... I guess probably... You know what, that's probably why my internet's struggling. <laughs> I just realized it's 60 FPS. Yes. There we go, look. That worked. I didn't even set the parent of the... No, yes I did, didn't I? Oh, it's in there. Wait, I can't even click it. What? There we go. No. Choose one or I'll spank you. <laughs> hey, Joe. Joe, mama. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop there. Hi, dialogue. Uh, let me put this at the top. And I'll run clean up.
Oh yeah. Okay. So delay actions should work. So I actually only do task to delay. Options table dot delay. Then the options table dot options, which is a function. Now that works. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a Fury of the Storm by Dragon Force. And sure, I can do. Oh, I see now. Um. No, I'll just make it so you can make an alternate function. That would be a separate thing. Okay, there we go. Um, so pairs table expected got nil forty nine. That's probably changed. Options table dot options. That's very multi option. Let's have a look. Delayed action, delayed action. So there's two delayed actions. Oh, options. No, that should work. Delayed action, return a table, options, equals action. Hold on, let me just try this again and just have a look. What the fuck is this ad? <laughs> uh, it's from Dragon Force, which is Fury of the Dragon, I believe it was called. Um, Louis, you need to set up a, um, bot for that. So you need HTTP service to a bot or something, then that has to rank the player in the group manually. But that's like, um, a player dot chatted, and then you go check their rank. If they have a high enough rank, then you have to. Oh, there's the bot again. Gotta love him. Lock on YouTube. Put user in timeout. <laughs> Got delayed action. Hooray, you survived. And then if I press no, let's have a look again. Is it? Oh, that pretty. Let's have a look at this one again. Options. Table expected got nil. Line 57. Display. Dot options. Ah, okay. Wait, no, that's got to be... No, yeah, I need to go back and change these. Display there, but I need displays in these. Uh... 
Um, wait, which one's that one? Oh, it's here. Yeah. Okay, I need to find a bot. Where can I find one? You've either got to make it, or... Actually, no, you've probably got to make it. It's the problem. Yeah. There's, like, private ones, but I don't think they'll give you a source code for that. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's asking about a group ranking bot. So he wants to have a command in game that ranks someone or demotes someone. Or promote, demote, rank cop, that sort of thing. But that needs a Discord, or not not a Discord bot specifically, but any sort of external bot to rank them. So how you survive works. So multi-option, blah, blah. So that does work. Right. Delay type. Delayed action. Disp oh, display. Oh, that's why. That's why there. Yeah, you gotta send it to a HTTP service. Yeah, you need to create a Roblox bot. Yeah. There is actually Python. Um, GitHub modules you can find. So, like, if I do Rodox Python. Ropi, that's it. I'm pretty sure Ropi has it. If you do want to learn a little bit of Python and have a look at that. Yeah. So, you can, like, load up a client. Um... I think there is other things too, I imagine. You'd have to have a look. Yeah. Wait, that's um... This is documentation, isn't it? Why is it going to Discord Pi? Oh, that's Discord. Oh, wait. No, I meant, um, right up Pi. Oh, no, yeah, that is... Why'd it go... Oh, I clicked Discord. Oh my god, all this. That's why. Oh, that's an L. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So you can get groups. And then... Oh, where is it? Oh, maybe you can only get info. There might be something there you can find. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, there's one thing that you can have a look at, but I don't know if this has it. Uh, white theme. Anyhow, back to this. So if I press yes, it ends it. Um. Oh wait, it's this one. I click yes. 
when you click no, there we go. Choose one or I'll spank you. The spank run. You got spanked. You run for your life. Let's go. Can you send the link in the chat, please? Yep, I shall. There you go. Oh, it's restream my own one. If that's one that's posted. Dialogue system is working though. Oh, most of it is. <laughs> so delayed actions work. Uh, forced actions work for the most part. Handle string action. No worries. There we go. That's not too bad, I must say. Let me just uh, bluster it together. Just under a uh, hundred lines without the string actions. And I don't want this dialogue tree history anymore. I don't need it. Alright. Now we can do quests. No, I, I do like spaces. This is all spaced out. Or oh, most of it is. <laughs> Same with this one. Oh, except that bit. It's been 3 hours 47 minutes. Minus a 20 minute break. Or 18 minute break, so... 3 hours 30 minutes. So 2.5 hours left. And now we've got a quest. So let's do that. Actually, I, I'm not going to bother making the UI again. So let me just, um, you know, uh, yoink the UI from this other game. Ah, <laughs> uh, get off the screen. There we go. Oh, you like the um Among Us characters? Once they load. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it does apparently something. Shrimp Mogus. Oh, that's a small guy, yeah. But what I'm looking for is the quests. There we go. There he is. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Let's do eight five. Crowd control magics. What's my take on it? Like, what do I think about them? Because they're pretty useful. I hate PvP with them, but if it's AoE... Oh, no, AoE. Fucking PvE, so player versus enemy. Um, It's so useful. Oh, Even World Zero, I was running through dungeons and it was just amazing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because World Zero, you can do mega debuff AoEs, and it's just, it's just so good. Actually, uh, uh, debuffs aren't that good in World Zero, but you can get, like, heaps of debuffs. Anyways. Oh, Dark Age of Camelot? No, I have not. I don't actually play, like, RPG RPG games normally. I've only watched, like, World of Warcraft. Um, I've seen some other ones, like, a little bit of Genshin, a little bit of... Um... Oh, I don't, I don't remember what the other is called. 
I mean, like that Genshin for the magic system. I like the visual effects in that. I'm not that old for Age of Camelot. <laughs> I'm not old enough for that. I'm only 18. Amazing take on realm versus realm. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Oh, that'd be amazing. Imagine that was in World of Warcraft. You have realms fighting each other. Or like the different servers, I mean. Yeah, okay. What a walk off. I need to have a glitch URL? Um, not quite. You just need to have a URL which gets past the Roblox um, blocking. It's like, obviously, local host won't work because it will be on the Roblox servers. You can't use uh, IBX, whatever the um, free one was that was available. That is open source, so if you do want to set that up. To access Roblox APIs, but um, there is also generally you just you can use something like Negrok to make a tunnel, and then you just I don't know probably use a um host name changer or something like that. There's different ways you can do it, but Negrok's a pretty easy way with a host name or like a domain name, so. But usually domains cost money, so it's not that good. I don't know if there's actually anything else that lets you do it. I haven't really checked. Um, I haven't even touch this yet need to go well we got quests and we're on to combat now i'm going to do that next week because that's going to take way too long to do here actually i might put let me clone that Interactables. Well, I want con combat consumables. Hot bar. Yeah. You need like a web URL, like a website. Or an IP address, HTTP. It's like, uh, for example, HTTP slash. Like, something like that. Or like, if you got a host name. Uh, something like that. And then like, main, I don't know. Whatever. It's just something you can connect to. Yeah, in the middle of an RPG game. Yeah, okay, yeah. Deja vu. <laughs> Yeah, mini games or PvP, uh... No worries. It looks pretty cool.
Let me put that in there. Yeah, I can. Well, I, just, I need this quest to spawn. Let me focus. <laughs> um, I, I can just use this one. Actually, oh, see, see, um, I've done the quest system already in this other game, and I kind of want to copy and paste it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I want to kind of cheat this one and just copy and paste it, but. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I had keywords and stuff there. That one was quite the big one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll just paste it there. I can still show you all the code. Well, actually, you'll have access to the code anyways, but that's pretty much the stuff there. Anyways. Wait, is that? Okay, there we go. True. Um, I think that was actually everything I needed. Let me jump back in that quest. Yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I need to make sure I get the server module too. Quests. There's also a notification system, I mean. Look how much shit there is here. Well, what do you think I'm going to do then, huh? <laughs> Actually, I might end up... I'm not 100% on this, but I might get other people to help me. Alright? I'm not 100% yet. Because <laughs> uh, I do want models and all that. And then um, I need people to grind through... Um, adding all the weapons and stuff and giving them values and all that. Yeah. Oh, that is true, yeah. I can just have, um... See, that's the thing. I wanted to do everything on stream, but now that I look at it, I'm going to have to start doing stuff off stream. And just have, like, maybe a giant, um, recording session or something. Hey, some dude. Uh, I'm doing an RPG game, and I'm 18 too. Nearly 19 now. Wait, my birthday's... Ooh, my birthday soon. I just realized. Hey, Yuzu. What's this one? Definitions. See, that's what the problem is I always have with these two different systems. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, yo. Bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Move out the way. Uh, no, is shut down server. Did I have a separate? Oh, I did. Okay. I have this soft shut down in here too. You don't really need to see the soft shut down, do you? You can have a look at the script for that. That's just a utility system. Oh wait, that's gonna be... Oh, 
Oh, true, yeah. <laughs> bitch, get out of the way, bitch. Sounds. I don't think about it true about that statement. Wait, we need to break this shit down at some point. Like, what each thing does? Is that what you mean by that? Remote service. Wait, who is? I'm so confused. Hey, Pat Rosa? Actually, I think I might have seen her Twitter or something before. Let me check. Yuriza, are you amazing? <laughs> oh, it is you. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's who you got the thing from. Okay, I see now. I was wondering where you got it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I should probably do the picture on there too. <laughs> so I can actually use them. No, I have to. I probably won't use them. I'll have to make my own VFX. Yeah. Any next new with GUI button? 195. Um, get rid of that one. Yeah, yeah. Let me chuck you a photo. <laughs> Oh my god, you have 700 followers. Gee. Get out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. There we go. Let me just tweet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can probably just put a... I can have a list of... um. So let's say I have a script and service script service called YouTube videos or something. And I'll just put all the streams there. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. <laughs> go away, ads. Actually, in that case, I should just open source everything I've got. <laughs> Not joking. I won't do that. Like some nifty shit that I want to keep secret. Local module, GUI button. Is it GUI utility? Is that one? Yeah. GUI utility. New action button. Local button equals form button button yeah well this is already open source this one I probably won't open source the other things I've done though which are private ones Yeah, I can. Oh my god, I didn't change the title. 
It's still RPG Series 4. Alright, there we go. It's updated. Oh, let me just put this back. There we go. Connect is an unavailable or bindable event. 208. Alright, so I think I have a fixed end VS code, but most are not updated. What else did I have in here that I can use? Oh, there's a loot. I'll probably make a different system for that, though. Enemy. A code? Maybe. Ability? Yes, yeah, I got a little bit of an ability system here. I was playing around in there. Uh, let's go quests line 208 in it Okay, let me just check something Oh yeah, it is then Is that gonna work? Oh yeah, I'm just waiting for this. God damn it. Okay. I think quest is working. So here comes the fun bit. We just simply Oh there's a dummy over there. Let me just run over here. So test dialogue, and I want to do test quest or quest dialogue, I guess. And uh, let's go dialogue. Let me just copy all of this. Uh, test quest dialogue. Yes, no. Choose one you must. That's a delayed action. Get a new quest. Otherwise, close. Actually, I'll just cancel. There we go. Now I can make that red. That one can be like a bluey one. Pastel blue. This one here I can do... I need a string for this one. Quest. What's the quest idea? Sample. Yeah, let me just have that. Okay, onto Ribbon. Oh my god. Right to so I don't need that part. I just need the first part. There we go. Look at that. I've taken forever to reset on the stream. Let's have a look. Wait, did I even give myself the quest? No, I didn't set up the quest part. Actually, I'll need the print anyways for it, so. While we're waiting.
Is this still not loading? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Quest dialogue. Yes. No. What? Wait. Oh, I didn't change the... <sighs> I didn't change the dialogue ID inside the model. I like how the other ones are all four hours below and then you just get this one six hours. It'd be funny. Just seeing that. Um, while we're at it, I need to change this to... Sample quest. So this one is test quest dialogue. No, I'm not creating magic yet. I'm doing that in its own separate stream. I'll tell you that much. And that's going to go for like six hours again. <laughs> Actually, I might just do it in two parts now. Think about it. And plus, we got all this other stuff here too. We need to. Tests. <laughs> so if I get yes, delay thread or function expected. What? Oh, wait, no, wait, no, what? That should have worked. Delayed action. If it's a string. Delayed action. Okay. That's something I can actually fix in here. So... If type of actually I can just do task dot delay function that in there and then if type of options table dot uh, options is it options options equals the is equal to a function, then else. If... Else if it's a string. Else. Invalid type. And see, now that one's down there. So what I probably want to do is actually... um. No, I do want to handle it there. Function module. Handle action. Option table. And then what I can do is put that inside there. And then also you can put that one out here. And then I can put that one at the start. There we go. Actually, no, I need to run that one at the start of that. It'd probably be better if I have them there. And then this changes to this, 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 this. Okay. Wow.
So let's see, we've got quest dialogue. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, no, yeah, I want, um... How did I do it? How did I do it before? It was... Um... Option stable dot options. That's what I missed from it. Oh, there's another one. Let's go on YouTube and delete the messages now. Yes. Handle string action quest sample quest. Let's go. Why do I keep getting bots like that? It's so annoying. Oh, this song is... <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to this. Handle, string, action. Um, like split comma equals string dot split action string at the comma. Oh, hit colon. If split comma one is equal to uh quest then else one unknown string action which is the split comma one so i can just unpack split comma there we go again so if it's that one we want to uh, do I have a quest? A set quest, quest ID. So what I want to do is systems container dot quests. A set quest. Split comma two. And. That handles every uh, quest action like that. So now, if we play, those eyes, 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 eyes. There we go. I want to respawn. If I run over, so I don't have any quests. If I get the quest dialog, press yes. Oh, we didn't even get it. Core nil value 166. Quest service. Oh, get a uh, player profile. Wait, get, yeah, player profile. As you can see though, it actually reached our mode event, so it is working. Oh, I just need to fix this bit. Oh, data service. Get player profile. Get player profile. Yep. Get player profile. Get player profile. Get player profile. Get player profile. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go again. Oh my god, fuck. Why is YouTube the only one with it? I haven't seen a single bot like this on Twitch yet. 
Started streaming four hours ago. Damn. Alright, let's have a look. So if we do this quest dialogue again, press yes. Oh. We see quests. Yep. So the quest loaded. We just need to fix this up. Oh. Template quest. Forgot about that. Let me grab that from the other game. Um current project supreme open and that means if there's no more errors after that it's working completely and that means quests are also implemented at the same time so let me actually move them there and then Go assets UI template quest. There we go. Quest, yes. Alright, quest is there. Any errors? Yep. Ah, oh, I could change that one. So it's GUI. Other shenanigans. Okay, so let me jump to interface quests. I also need the utility here. <laughs> so let's check as we go. Yep. Correct, correct. Correct, 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 correct. I hope you can read it at the same time as I can. Bait button equals GUI utility. New action button. Activate button. Activate button dot parent. Anything else? GOI utility new action button. That's good. Hack and plan. It's like a more advanced Trello. It's a little bit more complicated, but you can do a lot more with it. And it looks a lot nicer. And can you use models? What do you mean? Press yes, GI utility. Oh. Can you use models not like giveaways like inventory? What? What do you mean by that? Quests. 144. No utility there. Quest dialog, yes. There we go. Now it's working. And then I can remove the quest too. And if I try to get more of the same quest, it doesn't let me. Sweet. Let me move that to the bottom of the list. Combat weapons. Um... Well, we've got an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, we can easily get our uh, weapon equipping and all that going. That brings us closer to the magic. <laughs> Combat weapon. Okay. Actually, I might... How should I do this? I'm thinking... 
have... Okay, I'm going to put the hotbar there. That's not immediately necessary. Should I do the enemies first? Or should I do the combat first? Because I can still get a test weapon to test the loot system. But would you prefer to see AI? Or, com or weapons and... Actually, I need to plan that too. That's a big system. But yeah. I need to take a crap. <laughs> Can I do poles? Fast pole. Yeah, I'll just do a pole and you guys pick one I'm taking my shit. stream let's do combat slash weapon system uh, enemies slash loot system consumable system oh we can do hotbar too oh, our hotbar can be a little bit later Oh, I'm gonna enable capture on that. Sorry if you don't want to do capture, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, melee and magic systems, I am separating because they're two totally different things. Alright, there we go. Vote there, baby! I'll put my vote in too. I'm just gonna quickly take a shit while I'm waiting. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back.
Right, I'm back. <clears throat> All right, let's see. If I could request one huge thing, would be allowed a gamepad. Can do. But use a shift modifier, all this good. Yep. Yeah, console mobile. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Most definitely again. Some game there. I do have a gamepad, so we can test what works and what doesn't so far. Um, where'd that pole go? Oh, there it is. Oh, two votes for enemy system, one for combat. There's eight people watching. Not all of you go to that restream.io fast poll and boot links. Let me try this. Oh, whoa, what happened? Jesus, that black screen is what? Might have not pushed it all the way in. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, how do I forget again? Is it... Oh, wait, no, there's a separate way of doing it. I had it in... Also Supreme Beings. I could, um, unlock... So you can move your cursor. Where was it? I don't exactly remember where I put it. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Um. Oh, wait, no. Is it in starter GR property? Ah, it is. Enabled. YouTube stream is lost. What do you mean? What happened to it? Oh. Oh, rip. On.